Hello and welcome to Wake Up and Live with the Arts. We are here at the historic Cleveland Playhouse in downtown Cleveland where Kristen Netsband, the PR director, has made sure that we are here today to talk about another fabulous Cleveland Playhouse production and meet two of the actors from that play. Now, I watch a lot of HGTV, and they have, in the last couple of years, put a show on about tiny houses, which doesn't really appeal to me, because I cannot imagine living in two, three, four hundred <laughs> feet. However, at the Cleveland Playhouse, they have worked wonders in telling the story of what it's going to be like when you actually get involved with a tiny house. <laughs> and on that note, let me introduce Kate Eastman and James Holloway, who play the main, are you the main characters in the show? This young You lady. are, so you play yeah. Kath, mm -hmm. who is on this search, and you play Jeremiah. I play Jeremiah. Okay, right. so tell us a little bit about, from your perspective, Kath, <laughs> what launched you on this ridiculous journey looking for a tiny like house. Everyone oh. shines. I did there's see a five number of, of cast actors yeah. listed. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's five of us, and everyone like gets a moment, um, okay. and more than a moment. Like everyone is is, is served by the. Are play. these like vignettes of no, stories, so or is just a through line? It's a about through line story mm -hmm. about my character Kath, who works in finance in New York City. So super high powered, super high pressure job. And she meets this man named Bodhi, mm -hmm. who she's with at the start of the play. And he, they decide together, she's unhappy in her job. And so they decide together that she's going to quit. They're going to take her savings, move to northern Oregon, where Bodhi is from, and build a tiny house. Okay. And try to, like, absent themselves from capitalism and materialism <laughs> and all of the sort of modern ills of our society and live off the grid. Yes. Yeah. And what is your contribution, Jeremiah? How do you meet up with Kath in the storyline? I'm the tiny houses construction consultant. Yeah. Okay. So I am the cooler head who's able to prevail when things don't go as planned, as anticipated. Okay. And, uh, and in construction, do they ever go as planned or <laughs> anticipated? Well, you know, when, when I come in. Oh, they yeah, do. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I'm a skilled individual. Yeah. Okay, no, no. I, you look skilled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's good at his job. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, do you remember some of the names? I know you're still in the rehearsal process of the other characters Absolutely. who make up the ensemble. Yeah. Absolutely. So as as Kath. Yeah, yes. Kate. Kath. she's uh, really right. Kate Eastman right. playing right. Kath. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Bodhi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, that's your boyfriend. My boy. And who, do and you know who he's played by? Peter Hargrave. Okay. Who is a Case Western MFA a alum. Alum. Okay. Alum. Yeah. That's yeah. another program affiliated here with the Cleveland Playhouse. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. we have a visitor, by the way, who is from the Cleveland State Film School, which now has an association or relationship with um, the Cleveland Playhouse. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. who else is there in the cast? Uh, so Nandita Shinoy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, she plays Jevney. And then Mike, Michael Doherty. Okay. Who plays Ollie. So Bodie, he's a hypnotist. Uh, he's not a hypnotist. <laughs> he's not? He's a life coach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, no, I'm just going by what's written on the paper. <laughs> so, hey, hey, you know? Yeah, he's so, a life coach yeah. hypnotist. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh -huh. how they were selling it. Um, mm -hmm. YouTube artist uh, mm -hmm. is Jevney. And then Ollie sells haunted dolls. Yeah. Haunted dolls. Yeah. Yes, online. I yeah. can't. Did, did I get it? Yeah, yeah I got it. <laughs> got All right, got I got to check in. And Jevney does this thing called ASMR. Which is, uh, it stands for automatic, automatic sensory ASMR, automatic sensory meridian response. Okay. And it's basically, these YouTube artists will have a really sensitive mic and they'll talk into it really softly mm -hmm. where they'll like do little noises. Okay. And it causes, it triggers in certain people like a kind of tingling and relaxation. Oh, okay. And so that's what Jevney does for a career. Oh, yeah. I take it this is not a high drama play. It's a comedy. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> yeah, a feel-good comedy, lots of romance. Yeah, it's a romantic um, comedy. Yeah. yeah, wonderful writing. 
Chelsea Marcantile. Mar uh, and it's directed by Laura Kepley, right. the, artistic the artistic director, director here. Yeah. here at the Playhouse. Yes. Yeah. Um, what drew you to this play, both of you, this particular play? Well, I'm, uh, I went to Juilliard at the same time as Chelsea, the playwright. Playwright, yes. Um, so the playwriting program is two years. The acting program is four years. And she was there, like, in the middle of my time at the acting program. And we just clicked. Like, we hit mm -hmm. it off. We, we struggle with a lot of the same things. We have a lot of the same frustrations and the same joys about life. Yes. And so we just got really close. I dog sit for her all the time. <laughs> and... and uh, she, when I found out that she was doing this play in particular here, I'd done a reading of this play in Brooklyn. Yes, I saw her. where it had been workshopped. Yeah. And, and plus it won here, um, the New Groundworks Play yeah. Festival mm -hmm. here at yeah. the Playhouse. Yes. So we read it like really informally at like a bar mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. Okay. Um, and so we had talked, we'd been talking about the play a lot. There was never any like, you should play Kath, but then mm -hmm. the, the call came for the audition and I was just like, I'm going to play Kath. Okay. Do it. And you did it. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah, doing it. What yeah. attracted you to this play, sir? Um, I think it was a whirlwind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny because right before the play came about, I was at a place in life of just like accepting things. Okay. You know, um, just with acceptance and, and not becoming, you know, uh, comfortable, but just like realizing where I am and what things are. At this and, moment in time. Right. Mm -hmm. And then this play came along and my character sits in the same position. You know, Jeremiah is someone who's just wonderfully comfortable with who he is. Yes. Wonderfully so. And then when I read the play, I really was intrigued by the ensemble aspects of it. Mm -hmm. And I like the dynamic that my character has within the play because he's more of the stable figure. Yes. I've never gotten to play that on stage in my professional mm -hmm. career you know just someone who's the, the stable body you know who, who who comes with with the intentions of restoring order you know so a calming influence right yes right and uh -huh. I, I i really enjoyed that and it's a funny piece okay it's it's just fun well we should funny. be seeing it yeah. coming up soon yeah you know now uh out of curiosity, where will you be headed after this project, or do you know yet? We're going to do this show at Cincinnati Playhouse. Oh, yes. So okay. we will go back to New York for two weeks, and then we'll head down to Cincinnati, and we'll have like five days of rehearsal, and we'll bring the tiny house down there, and then we'll remount the show there, and I think we're running for three or four weeks. Yes, and right. you're running here from March 23rd to April 14th mm -hmm. at yes. the Alcott Theater. I never get that pronunciation quite right. Right. <laughs> you know. It's, yeah, potato, potato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they changed yeah. the names. And before it was just, you know, the Allen Theater, this theater, that theater. And now they yeah. have all these high class. Oh, uh, there's a Sue Johnson Theater? Uh, yes, coming oh, up. Oh, any oh, minute oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any projects lined up after uh, this one? Um, I have a wonderful play that I wrote. Okay. Uh, about Arthur Ashe. Uh, who died being such a sports figure and health nut. Right. And that always scared me because I figured, why should I spend my energy trying to be healthy? Because I'm going to die at 37. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, yeah. I cut you off. No, yeah. no, you didn't. You did not. Uh -huh. uh, the lane was open. But yeah, that, that, that's what I'm working on uh, in getting that off the ground. And I have a, another project based upon some of my experiences when I attended uh, military school. Oh, yeah, oh, so. you're one of those, are oh, you? I'm one of those. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Was it any particular discipline or just military in general? The rules, regulations, etc. Exactly that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Tiny Houses runs, as we said, from March 23rd to April 14th yeah. here at the Cleveland Playhouse. I like to call it the Allen Theater and then the theater within the Allen Theater, the Alcott. Yeah. And Chelsea Marcantel is the writer, the playwright. And Laura Kepley, who we all know, is the artistic director. She's directing this lovely production. And this almost closes out the Cleveland Playhouse season because... Uh, this is the second last play, Native Gardens comes up uh, to close out the season and it will run April 27th to May 19th in the 
Allen Theater. So be sure to not let the 2018, 19, 20, uh, 18, 19 season. All those. You know, right. I always get those confused right. too. Uh, close it out with uh, Native Gardens. And then of course they do have Cleveland Playhouse has begun to announce its next season, which will begin um, September 14th. So there's a whole series of six wonderful plays, as usual, being offered at the 2019-2020 season. Uh, here, what I call the Allen Theater in the Cleveland Playhouse within certain theaters within the Allen Theater in the Cleveland Playhouse. Okay. Right. Hope you got all that. <laughs> <laughs> so please come out and see Kate and Jeremiah and the, well, you're not Jeremiah, you're I James. Am. I'm Jeremiah. But I call her Kate. Yeah. Instead of Kath. But she's Kath and Kate. <laughs> <laughs> you just look at us like this is Cleveland. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, there, there's a line that's kind of like, yeah, but yeah, not about I, Cleveland. These people are yeah, weird yeah, people, yeah. Uh, not serious people. <laughs> Yeah, so Kat's, we can, Kat's pretty funny. judgy yeah. in okay. the start. She learns to not be judgy, but okay. it takes her a minute. Well, of course, you're coming from the your character's coming from the financial district, yeah. Manhattan, mm -hmm. and all that that represents, mm -hmm. and um, number 45. Mm. We don't speak about him. He no, doesn't belong don't. here. I know. I know. So shoo, shoo. Look, look at our videographer, <laughs> <laughs> James McGillbray. This is a happy place. <laughs> yeah, who I forgot to acknowledge. Here. No, not at all. Just cancel that. No evil. <laughs> <laughs> just cancel. No evil winds <laughs> <laughs> blowing. Yeah. Now, as we are going to begin to wrap up fairly soon, um, I would like to spend just a minute or two uh, finding out what caused you to go into theater, the arts, mm. performing? Are you a playwright also since yeah, you were in I, the program? Yeah. I, what inspired I you? to, And how long ago did you get involved? I was 12 mm -hmm. or like 10. I don't know. I had really terrible stage fright as a kid. I remember being like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think... I think it, it's like a combination of things very divine and very mundane. Yes. Like, I grew up very religious, mm -hmm. like very Catholic. And then some stuff about the church stopped jiving with me. But I loved praying when I was a kid. Like, I mm -hmm. loved it, loved it, loved it. And when I got on stage, I remember I played Peter Pan when I was 12. Okay. And there's, like, moments on stage when you, like, click in with your scene partner and you're telling the story and to me, it felt, I, I felt the same sort of like sense of presence and peace that I felt when I prayed. Mm -hmm. So I was like, this is cool. Like, I can't find God in my church anymore, but I can <laughs> find him on stage. Um, so there's that reason. And then the other reason is that I like attention and I didn't, wasn't like getting enough of it. Okay. So it's like a combination of those things. You're not a Leo, are Peace? you? No, I'm a Scorpio. Well, that's almost as bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're monsters. <laughs> no, you're delightful <laughs> monsters. I love Scorpio men or something else, honey. But yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was, I was supposed to be born a Scorpio, uh, but, 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 but I came later. As yeah. a Sag? Yeah. Well, you're useless, so. <laughs> <laughs> they're just wanderers. Yeah, I know. They're just up there in the spiritual realm. Yeah. And, you know, happy-go-lucky. They're lucky. journeymen. Yeah, happy-go-lucky and forget all about paying attention to details on Earth. No. <laughs> no, I got Virgo on your my You're Virgo rising? Chart. Yeah. No, it's uh, Cancer. Cancer? Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but if you got Virgo, then you got a con another yeah. influence, a work ethic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So before we get to talking about metaphysics, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> which we could, we could. That's where I always want to go. Uh-huh. To metaphysics? Yeah. I mean, I'm a Scorpio. Yeah. Okay. And you in, <laughs> in depth and in detail mm -hmm. and you got to find Deep. the answers. Yeah. So Life stuff. And you're full of fun and devilment too. Oh, a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> on that note, Just a <laughs> on that note that we want to thank uh, James Holloway, yes. who plays Jeremiah, the, the quiet, calming, influence, stable construction guy, <laughs> and Kath, 
who ordinarily would go by Kate Eastman, <laughs> <Right. laughs> who is the uh, the leading character, let's say, with the ensemble, and you're on your journey with your boyfriend mm -hmm. um, to build. I cannot understand trying to live in a 200 foot. Uh, neither neither can she at the start of the play. And, well, yeah, <laughs> and even though I watch a lot of HGTV, I still don't understand it. Yeah, because I have my I have a room. Let's say about this size. Mm -hmm. And even if I tried to downsize, I mean, I would have a toothbrush. That would be all I could bring mm -hmm. because yeah. there's just no way, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. yeah. So I wish you guys much success. Thank you so but much. But I forgot to ask you. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. No I, see, I told you this is the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> what inspired you to get into theater? What was your experience? I... I really, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I think it was just something that was innately given to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I do believe in that, like, we're all placed here with a purpose, and I found mine early on. And it wasn't until I was 17 where it turned, where I had to look at it as, oh, I'm going to pursue this for life. Okay. You know, like as a lifelong, mm -hmm. you know, pursuit, you know, I, I, I want to really do this. Uh, so 17, I worked with Lynn Nottage. She was the first playwright I oh ever worked my. with. Oh my, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh -huh. she, uh, she, she was brought to my performing arts training program in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I attended Freedom Theater and uh, Walter Dallas was the artistic director at the time. You know, they both went to Yale. So he pulled Lynn to write a play okay. about the Anansi tales. Uh, for a group of uh, young African American kids in in Philadelphia, and that that struck me, you know. So since then, I just have you know stayed a uh, uh -huh. and it's been ground. a calling. Um, it's a calling. Uh, do sure. you happen to come from uh, artistic family at all? I mean, my, my, my dad dabbled in it. You know, he lived out in California, you mm -hmm. know, did some stuff with Warner Brothers, you know, AFI, you know, before becoming a judge. You okay. Know? So. Maybe, I mean, he has the gift of gab, like he loves to tell stories. And I do remember, you know, being a child, just looking up to him uh -huh. like, man, he's so good, you know, so. Well, and it could be because yeah. it turns out I didn't know it for a very long time that my parents, who thought I was crazy uh -huh. for going into acting, this is a whole nother generation, way, 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 way back. Yeah. And turns out they met through drama club. <laughs> oh, that's something. When I found that out, um they were no more good. Because <laughs> 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 but the good thing is yeah. we are going to wrap today here at the Cleveland yeah. Playhouse with our two fun actors. So you can imagine how they'll be on stage when you come see Tiny Houses directed by Laura Kepley from March 23rd to April 14th at the Alcott Theater. For ticket information, be sure to call 216-241-6000. And you can always, of course, go to the website, uh, clevelandplayhouse.com, for complete information. And you'll enjoy not only tiny houses, but every production that I have seen, been in, not been involved in. Now, when I grow up, they'll let me be in one. Uh, <laughs> every production here at the Playhouse is a wonderful success draws in the audiences from all over. So you don't want to miss this opportunity and the Native Gardens that will close out the season coming up after Tiny Houses. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, thank you, Kate. Thank you, James. Thank you, thank you James. our James McGilbray and yeah. Kevin from the film school. <laughs> um, until next time, be sure to wake up and live with the arts every day.